I painted my iPhone. Hi, how are you guys? It seems like it's been forever and I am so happy to be finally putting another video out. This is technically my first video of 2020 because it's the only one that I've entirely filmed in this year. So this is a video where we welcome the new year. If you guys want to share your new year's resolutions, I would love to read through them and any encouragement you have for others, that'd be great too. I painted my iPhone like a million other YouTubers have done. Some of my friends too, but this one's different because it's my design. I promise it's really pretty. Also, this is gonna be the very last time you see those hydro flasks in the background because I am announcing the winners at the very end of this video, so stay tuned. Thank you everyone who entered, by the way. I think that we should just get into the phone transformation. This is my iPhone my very dirty iPhone. And no, I don't have an iPhone 11. This is the iPhone 8. So much dirt and dust and cat hair has gotten into the nooks and crannies and has slid in between the phone and the case. I promised I have cleaned this before, but clearly it's time to do it again. Behind the scenes of the generic painting an iPhone thumbnail, here that is. And then I had to include this satisfying footage. Comment heart blue emojis. <laughs> Leave heart emojis in the comment section below if you see the little hidden heart. That was me demoing that acrylic paint does not stick to an iPhone. It's too slippery. So I'm gonna take some washi tape and mask off all the important areas of the phone that I don't want to get painted with the spray paint that is upcoming. I decided to use this roll of unicorn tape because it's a little bit too uh, silly for me. I don't know, it's just a little bit young for my taste. The quotes are a little cheesy. I'm all for inspiration, but this is just a little much. So I'm like, we're gonna use this Shout out to Stephanie Harlow because she's one of my favorite YouTubers to listen to while I am creating artwork. I love all the creepiness. Anyway, now that I have the edges of the phone taped off, I have the speaker covered and, oh, now we're getting to the camera. We're covering the camera, the flash, all that good stuff. I know that some of you might be a little bit nervous, but don't be. It won't get ruined, I promise. I'm using a spray paint and primer in one to put a few coats on the phone. I set up this area in my basement with a couple of ripped apart corrugated boxes. Normally I would do this outside or at least in the garage, but it's way too cold where I live to do that right now. So we're just down here with a fan and a mask. And by we, I mean me, but well, I, yeah, we all are because the camera, okay. Anyway, I let each coat dry in between. I followed the directions on the spray paint can and after that was complete, I brought it upstairs and we're gonna do some satisfying tape peeling. Ooh, that's so nice. Crisp edges, honestly, it, it wasn't perfect, but at least my phone is not ruined. That's the most important thing. And it's mostly straight-ish, the paint, I mean. So now that that is completely dry, I am attempting to start my design with Posca paint pens. And that was a bad idea because for some reason, this one is not juicy enough and the tip of the marker actually scratched the spray paint off. Oh my gosh, it took the spray paint off. No. I was left with a gaping hole of glass foam showing through. It took a little while to cover that bad boy back up, and then I decided that it's not worth it to use Posca's just yet. 
I am going to go in with acrylic paint and a paintbrush. You know, that stuff that didn't work at the beginning? Well, now that there's a layer of spray paint on here, it is going to adhere. I actually created a template that I'll show you at the end. It's just my design uh, sketched out in pencil. So I at least have an idea here where I want the shapes to go. I'm not like completely just free minding how how is that even a word free minding that sounds like free balling and that's not cute <laughs> okay um what am i even saying free handing but i am free handing i'm just thinking of like i didn't come up with all this on the spot i planned it there we go honestly though this was so much fun to paint on because it was so smooth i enjoyed it so much more than painting on denim which is what i did in my previous video so you can check that out in the description box below and the iCard up in the corner if you haven't seen that video yet. Shameless self promo. For those of you who have been with me for a while here on this channel, you know that I love these abstract mandala zentangly designs kind of floral this stuff right here. They make me happy and they are a lot of fun to look at. I think so anyway. Also really easy to create, so why not throw that in the corner there? I want to cover up all the spray paint. All that speckly underpainting needs to go. So not much to explain here. I'm just going to be painting over that with different colors and patterns and designs. I was just getting very tired of looking at a blank phone and clear phone case. I've had this phone for about a year and a half, like I said, and it has just been boring for that long, and that is not me. So a huge reason of why I'm making this video is because it forces me to have something pretty to look at for the rest of this phone's life. If I ever get tired of looking at this design, which I don't think I will because I ended up really loving it, spoiler alert, I'm glad though, there are so many different ways that I can cover this or scratch it off, which I don't want to do, but it's a possibility. Having a clear case, I could always put a piece of paper in between and have a new design on that, or I could just paint directly on the case and have that as a new design. That means that I can always switch up the design whenever I want to. After I covered everything with colors and designs, I went in and did a lot of detailing. So we did some checkers with black and white. This part was pretty cool. I did a lot of touch up work. If I went outside the lines or anything, and then I went in with pasta paint pens, specifically really thin white and black, so these fine tip ones, and I am outlining just about everything except for the orange, I was gonna say squiggly, but it's like curvy, flowy rainbow line. Anyway, except for that orange line in the middle, so that wave, basically. This was probably my favorite Thing to do. I added more colors along the way when I thought that it needed something extra. I decided that the middle, instead of putting a word on here, which is what I initially intended to do, I wanted to write love or love life in the middle, and I just thought I would get sick of that and it would look too generic because even though it's a very happy, nice word, it's just, it's overdone. And I would also think of the show You, Love and Joe, and even though season two was better than season one in my opinion because I liked Love more than Beck, I don't want to see Love on my phone all the time. Queen of over explaining. That's me. Seriously though, who is excited that you got renewed for a season three? I am. Something I wasn't sure of for a while is how I would fill in those pretty big patches of pastel colors. The pink, the purple, and the green. I decided on zigzags for the pink and purple. So here you can see me doing the pink. I have these really tiny yellow polka dots. For the green, I just decided to go in with light pink dots and some smaller white ones. And same thing with the purple as I did with the pink. The case took me a few days to complete, but I am so happy with this. By the way, I have been working on this video for a couple weeks. I've been kind of MIA. 
I will explain in an upcoming video. It probably won't be its own video, but probably the voiceover of some artwork or something. But yeah, I did start filming this last week, so it's been a work in progress for a little while. Oh, and here's a comparison of my initial design. I left out the cat, I'm a little sad about that, but didn't mean to rhyme. But I think that it was necessary to keep the, the vibe going. I don't know, sorry kitty. We're almost done here. I hope you guys love the design. If you do, give this video a thumbs up, please. Also, if you don't have post notifications turned on, ring that bell so you never miss a new upload here and subscribe to join the SoCraftastic family. If you wanna know the absolute best way to support your favorite YouTubers in 2020, leave comments and watch as many videos in a row as you can. It helps to get our videos recommended. Hydro Flask winners will be revealed in just a minute. If you haven't seen that video yet, by the way, check it out. After the paint was completely dry, it is a good idea to protect it with some sort of clear varnish. So I'm using Mod Podge. I went ahead with the matte because I didn't want it to be extra shiny. And after that is completely dry, then you can protect it with the case because I am way too afraid to carry my iPhone around naked basically without a case at all. That is why I have an iPhone 8. Prior to that, my iPhone 6 got shattered after dropping it on my garage floor. So, always use protection guys. Overall, I am very happy with the way that this phone case design, well not phone case, but like actual phone design. This would, in my opinion, make a really cool phone case. So if I could make that happen, if any of you guys would be interested in a phone case with this design or some similar ones, let me know in the comment section below. I really want to expand my brand this year and create merch and stickers and all the cool things. Now, for our three winners of the Hydro Flasks. <laughs> Your names are on the screen. Congratulations, thank you to everyone who entered. I will definitely have more giveaways this year. I'm probably going to take a chill pill for a moment just so I get caught up with sending out packages and things, but I definitely wanna do more. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this and when I'm able to get back into my normal uploading schedule of every single week, I will. I really want to, trust me. There's a lot going on still with my health and also um, a big project that I'm working on for a different brand. Just kind of getting back in the swing of things after the holidays, but this is the longest I've ever, my, eh. That's my rice. <laughs> this is the longest I've ever been inconsistent and it is eating me away. I hate it so much. I'm doing my best to work through this. Thank you from the bottom of my heart to all of you who are supporting me. No matter what, I really, um, that, that, I really appreciate you guys. All the love. See you next time, bye. <laughs> the rice, I'm coming, rice.